It is the end of an era, guys. I'm sure you've already heard. Game Informer is shutting down after 33 years. Yes, the longest-running magazine of all time. And I've had some fond memories throughout the years. I'll be honest. This is kind of sad. When you see stuff shut down that you grew up with and you have nostalgia with, like Nintendo Power a few years back. And I remember as a kid, I had Game Pro and EGM. Video game magazines were just, like, the thing. I remember walking into... Albertsons and, and trying to look at the cheat codes and stuff for Mortal Kombat. So seeing Game Informer, which has been like the publication for like the last few years or so, uh, shut down is kind of bittersweet. Now, I had a GameStop Pro membership for quite some time, and this ain't even all the issues I've had, but you would get issues. You can get physical or digital with your Pro membership and uh, these are just some of them. The other ones I have, like, sitting around everywhere. But if I brought every Game Informer that I had, whew, we could be here all day. But needless to say, I was subscribed to this magazine. So now it's going away. They put a tweet out, and all of their social media, all the links, the website, all links to this. If you actually go to their page, you can see they posted the final level. Farewell from Game Informer. And, uh, yeah, this is this is definitely... Out of nowhere. This was unexpected. I believe at noon today, everybody in their staff got cut out. Nobody's working there anymore. And some people apparently weren't even aware that they were laid off until they saw this on social media, which I'll get into about that. I know it's business, but that's not cool. So you can see their message says, uh, after 33 thrilling years of bringing you the latest news, reviews, and insights from the ever-evolving world of gaming. It is with a heavy heart that we announce the closure of Gaming Former. From the early days of pixelated adventures to today's immersive virtual realms, we've been honored to share this incredible journey with you, our loyal readers. And one thing that's been pointing out about this whole thing is that this doesn't sound like it was written by somebody. I'm not going to go that far to say that it might be AI-generated or whatever, but it does sound... For such a long-standing magazine, like 33 years and counting, you would want something more special. Something to go out with a bang. Maybe the last few issues be really good and dedicated to the history. Maybe a great final issue. According to what I'm reading, the last issue that's coming up has Dragon Age, the new Dragon Age coming out on it. It's 70% done, so they didn't even finish what's supposed to be the last issue. But like Nintendo Power, they had an official last issue that was a callback to the first Nintendo Power issue, and it was kind of like a good send-off. Anyways, let me continue reading this. While our presses may stop, the passion for gaming that we've cultivated together will continue to live on. Thank you for being a part of our epic quest, and may your gaming adventures never end, Gaming Former. So... Definitely a statement that came out of nowhere. <sighs> truly the end of an era. You can see some people sharing the same sentiment right here. Kami says, truly the end of an era. We'll never forget flipping through these pages as a kid. So many great titles, covers. I'll give you guys this. The covers of these issues are freaking fantastic. Like, look at this one right here. This is literally like an amazing Alden Ring freaking cover right here. Yeah, the magazines themselves were a little thin, you know, could have been a little bit bigger, honestly, but, you know, a lot of the articles and stuff, which, you know, just recording this and showing you guys through the pages and stuff just doesn't do it justice. There was a lot of deep dives, a lot of great previews, and, you know, when GameStop bought this magazine in 2000, that was kind of a, a smart move. They literally got a dedicated magazine owned by them. In millions and millions of stores, maybe not millions, maybe thousands, but it was still a smart move, right? But throughout the years, the support for the magazine has kind of just like vanished, right? I remember you used to see stacks of these game informers on the counters at GameStop, and they would just literally hand them to you. Uh, but you can see uh, people are saying, thank you for everything. We won't forget the bangers y'all made. Yeah, there's a nice God of War 2, which I have a good God of War uh, cover here too somewhere. Uh, we all, yeah, here we go. Like, just take a look at this, man. Look at these covers. Like, these are just, like, some of the best gaming covers I've seen in my life. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't beat that, honestly. Uh, continuing on, you can see, uh, been reading since the beginning. Thank you for all you've done over the many years. Thanks for being awesome all these years. Y'all deserve better. End of an era. It's really sad news. I've been getting Game Informer magazine since I was a kid. 
heartbreaking. Game Informer was the place to get unbiased news about everyone's favorite hobby. Your journalistic integrity and thoughtful articles will be incredibly missed. We all lose today. So, yeah, uh, it's always sad. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, this is how it always goes. We're all nostalgic about stuff. Then when it comes to an end, we finally come out in droves when they probably could have used a lot more support. But, again, with websites coming out and, you know, social media, everything that is a written publication is coming to an end. Think of, like, all the wrestling magazines that we used to get back in the day. So, <laughs> unfortunately, it's the end of an era. But, yeah, there's a lot more to this story. Uh, if you do go to their um, website, it does link to the uh, message that we had. So if you go to their thing, here's the sad thing about it. So you go to GameInformer.com, go straight to the message. So this is the sad thing about it. It means all the articles that we've seen on Game Informer's website, all the photos, all the videos, all the content since they've had a website are officially gone. No archive, nothing. And and I disagree with that. Um, I think that is kind of shitty, <laughs> you know, to just delete stuff like that. Gaming history and so forth. Uh, their tweets are still up, but who knows how long this will be, you know, active. Maybe they'll keep it up. I mean, this is all we got as far as Gaming Former goes again. Just <laughs> out of nowhere, they just shut it down, so... It's unfortunate. Now, some of the employees reacting, uh, you know, kind of like a bittersweet thing again. You can see Alex Van Aken says, I lost my job at Game Informer today. I'm heartbroken. It was my dream job, but my bills don't care. Effective immediately, I'm available for filming, video, editing, documentary, hosting work. My passport and cameras are ready to go. Hire me. So these are just a couple of the employees here. Game Informer has been closed down by GameStop and the entire incredibly talented staff, including myself, have all been laid off. A frustrating turn of events, especially considering we were about 70% done with the next issue and it was going to have a great cover. I will forever be proud of my decade of work there and grateful that I got to be part of its legacy. In the short term, I'm sure you will catch me over at Min Max Show and for the long term, I'm looking for work. So it, it's definitely not good when people lose their jobs but that's unfortunate when it comes to business i've actually had that experience before uh, i had my last office job i literally was sitting there working like a regular day and they came up boss came said hey we just got a phone call and we are laid off you guys have an hour to pack up your stuff finish whatever work you're doing and you can go home and I was, I immediately was like, okay, cool. I didn't finish my work. I packed up. I got out of there like in 15 minutes. Good severance package, but that's that's a random story. But yeah, Game Informer is just, you know, wave the dodo. I mean, look at this Halo cover. Jesus Christ. Such a good publication. And now it's gone. It's gone. Wave the dodo. Look, you see articles written about GTA. 20 years of Liberty City. I wish I could be like some of those YouTube channels that has like the fancy camera going over the uh, the publications. Maybe I'll insert some B-roll here and show you guys. But yeah, Game Informer is officially gone, guys. 33 years. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Is this uh, a sad story for you guys? Or do you just not give a crap because you really didn't support it? I'll be honest, I didn't read half of these when I was getting them <laughs> sent my way because it's just it it's hard to keep up with sitting down and reading something when you could just click a website or a quick Twitter and see stuff. But, you know, is this a sign of things to come? And and funny enough, Smash JT made a joke saying another publication died before Kotaku did, right? Because Kotaku is still around but now Game Informer's gone, Nintendo Power's gone, and all these other countless, you know, magazines that were throughout the years, they're officially gone. And, you know, with, with change, people don't like change, but, you know, thank you, Game Informer, for everything. And hopefully the staff, you guys uh, find your footing, and uh, we'll see what happens here, guys. Anyways, thank you for watching. Share your thoughts down below on Game Informer.